Hello everybody, Jeff Olson here with Danfoss Drives. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to program and implement our end of curve feature found on our VLT Aqua Drive. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. This feature is very easy to program and it provides you with protection from running off the system curve, such as in the case of a broken pipe. So let's take a look at the required parameters to set this function up and then I'll provide you with a demonstration of it working. Alright, so using our pump demo unit, I'm going to guide you through the parameters required to set this function up. Prior to doing so though, it's important to note that in order to enable and implement this function, you must first set the drive up for process closed loop control with transducer feedback. If you're unfamiliar on how to do so, you can refer to my YouTube instructional video on that subject. Once the drive is properly configured for process closed loop control, we can use the main menu to enter parameter group 22 application functions. From there, we'll scroll down to 22-5, end of curve, and here we'll find the three parameters that are required to set this up. The first parameter, 2250, end of curve function, determines how the drive reacts in the event an end of curve is detected. I'm going to go through the choices here and explain them. So we have the value trip and manual reset trip. These are both trip type functions that will generate an alarm. Anytime the drive trips, it immediately disables the output the motor will coast to a stop and an alarm will be displayed. The only difference between trip and manual reset trip is that if we select trip, the automatic reset parameter will allow this alarm to be reset automatically, whereas if we select manual reset trip, manual intervention is required to reset the alarm, so the operator would actually have to press the reset key. That's what I'm going to select here for our demonstration, but I'm going to go ahead and explain the other choices as well. Stop and trip. The difference here is rather than immediately tripping and the motor coasting to a stop, the drive will actually follow a controlled ramp down to stop prior to tripping. We also have off, which in, of course no event would be executed here, and warning. A warning in a Danfoss drive will not prohibit operation. It will just continuously display the warning for the end of curve. However, it won't stop running. So those are my choices for this parameter 2250. And again, I'm going to select manual reset trip here. Let's move down to the end of curve delay, parameter 2251. This is the amount of time that the drive must be in the end of curve situation prior to the action selected in 2250 being executed. So I have 10 seconds here, a 10 second delay prior to the trip. And then finally, we have the end of curve tolerance. This parameter determines the percentage from set point that you're able to fall prior to the end of curve. End of curve is actually defined as the drive running at full speed and X amount below your set point. So that percentage here is entered as a percentage of parameter 303 maximum reference or set point. My maximum reference right now on this drive is set to 100 PSI. Again, that's parameter 303. So 5% of 100 PSI is 5 PSI. When I fall 5 PSI below my 20 PSI set point, for 10 seconds, the drive will trip and only be reset manually. So let's take a look at how that works. I'm going to go ahead and start this unit here and we're going to see that it's going to ramp up and my actual pressure shown here in the upper right is going to increase with speed. The drive is going to try to reach my set point of 20 PSI. Right now we have uh, this unit operating in normal condition so we're on the pump curve. We're going to be able to meet that 20 PSI set point somewhere below full speed which you can see happening now. The drive is going to end up stabilizing here around 53 hertz and we're at set point. So what I'm going to do now is open a bypass valve on this demo unit that's going to allow this drive to ramp up in response to that to try to meet that 20 PSI set point but it won't be able to because the opening is too large. So this is going to basically simulate a broken pipe. I'm going to go ahead and actuate that bypass now and as soon as I do so we're going to see my pressure fall. 
as long as I fall 5 PSI below my set point, so 15 PSI or below for a solid 10 seconds, then the drive is going to trip. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm opening the valve, and we see my set point drop. We're well below 15 PSI. My timer right now is currently counting. Approximately 5 seconds from now, we should see the trip occur. And there you have it, the end of curve alarm has been displayed. This will not be reset until I press the reset key. Hopefully this video is informative and thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Dan Foss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call one 888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.